Hi, how's everybody doing? This is Dr. Mark Blumenstein, and what I want to talk about is uh, co-management. Um, I think you probably read some things I've written about co-management. The truth of the matter is that, to me, co-management is really cooperatively managing your patients. And I think oftentimes that has to start in the lane, and it has to start within your practice. It doesn't always necessarily mean co-managing with a patient where you're managing cooperatively outside your practice. For example, to me, when I'm talking to a patient, I want them to understand. I want cooperation from the patient to manage things like their eye condition, blepharitis, if you will. And one of the things that I think really helps sometimes is I'll consult like my magic eyeball if I need to. Like, should we treat this? Oh, it says no. But, okay, I'll ignore that. We'll do something different. For me, what I like to do is, is visually show a patient what we're dealing with so they can understand it. So, like, you don't need any high-tech stuff. I mean, if you have an iPad, you can go to Google and download blepharitis. You can find some really disgusting pictures and show it to your patient. Ew, that's what your eye looks like. Now, oftentimes, patients will sometimes feel like, well, but that's not me, okay? What I do is I'll take a picture of your eye. You can take your iPhone, okay, or you can take whatever you know uh, camera you have, and you can actually utilize that by either taking a picture, you know, grossly, like from away from the picture, or you can get something fancy like this. Um, this is something that's actually sold. I bought this at the um, AOA, excuse me, in Philadelphia, and you actually can attach this onto your ocular. You put any phone on here, and you can take a picture. Um, there's companies that actually, there's actually, you can do things where you can hack a phone just by utilizing, you know, equipment and things you have around the house. If you have the opportunity to really get in and take a picture on your soot lamp, and I'm going to show you the camera over here, you can see, like, here's an example of the patient that I had. You see a lot of neovascularization. You can see commotion. A picture is worth a thousand words. But that's one way of cooperatively getting your patient to manage their condition. Something else I think is really critical is having the tools in your office for them to walk out the door with them, like a brooder mask, or to have like Ocusop lid foam or or Steri lid. Um, sending them to to like you know the using retain or things that we know are going to be relevant to them and important to them. For me, selling these products in your office is not necessarily a way to generate revenue, but it's a way to basically manage the patient in your practice. And this becomes really critical when we start sending these patients out for surgery, whether it be cataract surgery, whether it be LASIK surgery, is because the ideal or optimal prescription they're going to get is limited by the quality of their tears, their lids, their cornea, and so having those instruments or tools in your practice to show your patient what you want them to be doing and then providing them with an opportunity to purchase them in your practice is really just a way to keep everything kind of bundled, if you will. To me, I, I try to redefine the word co-management because it's managing our patients and we're doing it cooperatively with them, with us, and with somebody else. So get out there. Go to, you know, a website, email me if you want to. You'll see my email address at the very bottom, um, and uh, I'll help you along the way. Until next time, peace out.